Alright everybody, what is up? What is up? I am back as you can see. I am not gone. This channel is not dead-ish. Um, coming in here with a little avatar here and there. I've been, you know, been busy. But the video today is a tutorial of an Ocarina of Time ROM hack called The Sealed Palace. I haven't played it, I haven't played it whatsoever, but I am still gonna be showing you guys how it's done, how you get it, and how to ensure that you can, as well, enjoy playing the game if you don't feel like watching other people playing it. So, without further ado, this tutorial is for Project 64 only. If you guys want to see for other emulators, just let me know in the comments below and I will do my thing and post another video. So, that being said, Project 64. As you can see, I have the patch right here. We're going to go from the very beginning. We're going to open the ROM. And we're going to obliterate it. Control, delete this thing, you know. And now I no longer have it. Once I refresh it, boom. Do not have it. What to do, what to do. So, once you do end up getting uh, Project 64, you're gonna be opening the ROM and it will sh show you where it's directed. Now, if you wanna choose your own directory, you just go ahead, open file, hit choose ROM directory. And it just go all the way down till you see a lot of files. And so you just click where you want to go and you're good to go. Mine's Emu Simulator and 64 and Seal Palace. Boom. So whatever is in the folder of Sealed Palace is basically what's going to show up here. Since that is done, let's go to our internet browser. Within the internet browser, we're going to want to go to vim.net, just like at the last video. You do not want to get version 1.2 or 1.1. You want a 1.0. You're going to hit download. Ad blocker. Ah, that makes sense. So once you have it downloaded, you're going to go ahead and hit downloads in your folder hit open up the, the zip file and we're gonna drag right here Z64 file over here so now we got the game this right here is the 1.0 version of the game exit out of here go back to your browsers and we're going to go to the romhacking.net. Now, as I'm explaining all of this in this video, I want you guys all to know that the links will be in the description. So, as you can see, we got it here. It's known for the compatibilities of RetroArch, Project 64, EverDrive, Hardware, WeVC, and Dolphin. If you want me to show you how to install it for all of these just comment down below and I'll do my best on it so if you get if you see the patch version 1.3 don't go crazy start trying to find an Ocarina of Time version 1.3 you won't find it I've tried and if you do find it it might just be a hack literally like viruses type of shit but do not fear, I don't do that shit, that sucks. We're gonna hit download. Boom, the Seal Palace downloading, all good to go. Where are we gonna go next? Back to our downloads. Right here, we're gonna clip open the zip file. We're gonna minimize this, exit out of this, exit out of this slap this over here and here we are we got these two right here ready to 
it'll be installed. So let's go back to project, file, open ROM. Here is the folder. Actually, gotta fix this right here. Boom. Boom. So we're gonna get these two, slap them over here. Boom, and it's installed. Yeah, no, it's not installed. Normally, this is how it seems when it's installed, but that's just not how it is. That's not how it works. And if you want to see how it truly works, I will show you. I don't know why Surpass wasn't in there, but that's fine. We're going to go back to our browsers. And we're going to go to ROM Patcher JS. This ROM folder right here will be the game. And this patch file is the ROM hack. We're going to go ahead and minimize this just a bit. We're going to get the seal palace, put it at patch file, exit this. Now we're going to go ahead and open the ROM, grab this one right here, the game, slap it to the ROM file. Now just like at the last video, if it is not green, it's not going to work. Which means you got the wrong file, the wrong version. If it's green, you are good to go. So we're going to slap a apply patch. Patch is installed and it is ready to use. We're going to delete this because we don't need it. But we do need from the download section our new Zelda game, the Seal Palace version. We're going to drag it, slap it over here, exit out of this. We no longer need the uh, browser. And exiting out of here. Or open, I guess. Nah, we're just going to cancel it. We're going to hit refresh. Boom. The moment it says patch, it is ready to go. It is compatible. But how can we be sure? Let's open it up. Here we are, here it is, and this is the video of how to get the ROM hack into the Ocarina of Time game. I haven't played this, like I said before, I am actually kind of eager to at this moment, and I'm about to, though I'm not sure if you guys want little video clips, if you guys are into just watching other people play or whatnot, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos of it out there. But, that being said, I'm done. This is it. Uh, comment down below of what you think and what other tutorials you may want to find. And, yeah, I honestly have nothing else to say. Just like, comment, subscribe for more of these types of contents. And I'm out of here. See ya.